Hello, you are welcome to the Gallery News Update. I am Open Job with Samuel. Here's the news at 4. Buhari Commission's new NDDC headquarters complex. President Muhammad Buhari on Thursday virtually attended the commissioning of the Niger Delta Development Commission NDDC complex in Port Harcourt, River State. Other stakeholders include the interim administrator of NDDC, Mr. Efiong Akwa, Minister of Niger Delta Affairs, Senator Gosfio Akpabu, were at the commissioning of the 16 million naira new complex. According to Akpabu, the completion of the 13th floor building shows the focus and determination of the commission. Mr. Akpabu said that the building, which started in 1996, witnessed a slow pace of work until 2019, when President Muhammadu Buhari committed it to its completion. Akpabu, who commissioned the building on behalf of the president, describes the success completion of the building as a milestone which shows the commitment of President Muhammad Buhari to the development of Nigeria, particularly the Niger Delta region. Still on the news, we will not negotiate with criminals, NSA. The National Security Advisor, Babagana Mungunu, says the federal government will not apply its full weight to deal with criminals and will not be blackmailed by any group of people into negotiating with those who threaten the nation's peace. The NSA who spoke on Thursday at the State House briefing in Asovila, Abuja, said the present administration is not interested in negotiating with bandits, terrorists, and other criminal elements terrorizing the country. He argued that dialogue with insurgent points the government as weak and incapable. He said, and I quote, The government is tackling the problem of insecurity. We have said this many times that there are two phases in solving this problem, the soft approach, talking, negotiating, and so on and so forth. Mungunu said, Further that, Nigeria is faced with a type of asymmetric war, adding that issues of a gross deficiency in equipment and lack of personnel have played a part in the way things are at the moment. He however believes that the change of security chiefs brings a ray of hope and the help to fix all lapses that may exist. Still on the news, bandit kills policemen set station ablaze in Benue. Armed bandits in the early hours of Thursday killed a police officer and burned several houses including a police station in Sahaga community of Katsina, a local government area in Benue state. Reports gathered that the bandits suspected to be loyalists of the slim criminal Kingpin Tuase Akwaza, popularly known as Ghana, stormed the rural area at 4 a.m. and started shooting periodically even as they set ablaze several buildings and a police pick-up van. It was also learned that troops of the Operation Will Stroke OPWS, in collaboration with the police, killed one of the suspected bandits in a swift counter-response to the attack, during which they recovered over 200 rounds of ammunition. The police public relations officer, PPRO, for Beno Command, DSP Ketrin Anene, on her part, confirmed the killing of a policeman in the affected area. Anene maintained that, at the time of sending this report, that the details of the attack were still sketchy. And on sport, Inter Milan Otero Van Dahl to undergo knee surgery. Inter Milan Chilean's international midfielder Otero Van Dahl is set to undergo surgery for a left knee problem. This era, A leaders announced on Thursday. Otero Van Dahl will undergo surgery tomorrow, Friday, for mental pain in his left knee. Inter Milan said in a brief statement the 33 year old former Barcelona Juventus Bayern Munich and Bayern Leverkusen player could be sidelined for up to a month, according to Italian media reports. Vidal, who has scored two goals in 30 games since moving to Inter from Barcelona last month, looks set to miss their next three league games against Torino, Sassuolo, and Bologna before the international break. Antonio Conte could recover Vidal for the, for the match against Calgary in April 11 or Napoli the following week. Inter are top of the league with a six point lead on AC Milan as the target a first league title since 2010, with champions Juventus a further four points back in third. And that's the news at the moment. Once again, I am Ogun Jobi Samuel. For more information, you can join us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Once again, bye for now. In life, you can never be too sure who to trust. This is the story of Mrs. Ungazi. Mrs. Ungazi just wants to use the ATM. Good afternoon, Mama. Uh, let me help you out here, Udra. You don't need to stress yourself. Thank you. But I can handle it myself. The man has just been kind, right? 
He just wants to help, right? Wrong. All he needs is a good look at the pen. Will he succeed? Do not share your card pin with anyone. Keep your account information private and ensure no one is watching you while you enter your pin. UBA, Africa's global bank. It is here again. Are you an artist looking for a place to produce and promote your musical videos? Or a content creator in need of a platform to air your program? The Gallery TV got you covered. At the gallery, we provide world-class production services such as event coverage, promotion and production of musical videos, studio rental, live streaming of events. We also provide airtime for your program on all our platforms. These and lots of other interesting packages all at an affordable price with a 10% discount. For more details, you can visit us on our website at www.thegallerytv or on our social media platforms at The Gallery TV on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. The Gallery TV, we, we set, set the, the pace. pace.